All right, and so here you can edit your profile. Um, and you can have a link. I do not recommend having a link to your Beachbody coaching website. It's very, very salesy, and we do not want to look salesy on Instagram. You see all those rap people on Instagram, and it drives me crazy. And some coaches are very salesy too, and that's not what we're about at all. Uh, so I recommend using that URL in the beginning for your Facebook page. And so just say, friend me on Facebook. And so in the description, you can just say a little bit what you're about and what your account is about and why people should follow you. And so I just put, you know, I'm workouts, healthy recipes, faith and inspiration, because that's the kind of people, you know, that I want to attract um, that are in interested in those kind of things. And then you'll just hit done. And make sure, very important, that you go down here. Where is it? Okay, here is um, private account. You want to make sure it is not private. Um, so... Yes, anyone can see my pictures. It, I think when you open your account, it's originally set private, so make sure you go there and set that option so it is not private. Um, and here you can link your accounts um, if you want to have it post directly to Facebook, anything like that. Okay, and so I'll just show you a little bit about my account and what I post about. And so I, I try to keep it very on point to what I put in my bio. You won't see a lot of pictures of TJ on Instagram like you do on Facebook because Instagram's a little bit different. People come here, they really want value. Facebook is more about relationships. And so I really want to deliver value with everything that I post. And so I'm posting foods that I eat. I'm posting, um, you know, faith and inspiration. I'm posting workout videos. And I do a little interaction, that kind of thing, and success stories. I don't do them that often, but when I do, they get a lot of um, likes and content. And so you can just kind of scroll through my feed and see the kind of things that I post about. And every once in a while, I will do a promotion. Um, so that Help Wanted picture is one of my promotions. And I usually delete it. Um, I, uh, you won't see very many of them in here because I delete them. Um, after a little bit of time because I don't want a whole bunch of people going to my feed and all they're seeing is help wanted, help wanted, join my team, that kind of thing. And so I want to show you a couple accounts that I really like. Janelle Summers, number one earner in the network. And so her account is all about fitness and healthy eating. And so when you go to her account, you know that's what you're going to get. Um, I love, love, love her account. She gets a lot of engagement. Another one that I like. And so I'm showing you ones that I like just so you can get inspiration on what to start. Don't copy these people by any means. Um, it's just to help you get some inspiration. And so this is Amy Silverman. She's number two in the company right now um, with 19,000 followers. Her ideal client is someone who loves to travel and wants to fire their boss so they can have the freedom to travel. And so when you go to her account, you'll see pictures of her all over the freaking world. It's so cool. And so think about who your ideal client is, who you want to attract, and those are the kind of things that you should post. One more so you can get an idea. Melissa McAllister. She was number six in the company this past year. She's a million dollar earner. Melissa made is her account. And so she does these split screen videos um, that you'll see on her page. And it's really, really great. And with those videos, you can create them using Pick Play Post, which I'll show you in a second. With those videos, um, people get to hear her voice and she, um, people get to really know her and trust her, which is awesome. And so how do you interact on Instagram? And so let's go to my profile. So Mandy, oh, she's private, so I can't see her stuff. Okay. Mom and toddler life, someone's following me. So I could go to her account. Gorgeous picture. Where is this? And so... Basically, all I'm doing is commenting on her picture and getting a conversation started. 
And so they say Instagram is kind of like the cocktail party and Facebook is like the main event kind of thing. And so with this, you can just go to different people's accounts and people who are liking and commenting on your thing are people, let's say mom of toddlers is a hashtag that I use. Um, let's say someone uses that hashtag and you can go ahead and comment on their picture. So I'm not going to do a question on this one, but usually I would do a question and try to get to know them a little bit. Um, okay. And so let's say you post a picture about your challenge. Like I'll post um, a before and after picture saying, if you want more info, email me. Um, and if someone likes or comments, what I could do is I could go to this person's account and I could go comment on their picture um, and just say thank you so much for supporting my journey. I noticed you like my picture of my um, weight loss transformation. Is that something that would interest you? I'd love to give you more info on it. Oh, by the way, this is such an adorable picture. Um, I could comment on any one of her pictures. Where did you get that baby blanket? It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, something simple, simple like that, just so you can get the conversation going. Okay, now let's talk hashtags. So when I post a picture, I do not post the hashtags in the actual. So when you see when you post on Instagram. And so here you can choose all the different filters. Next, this is where I write the caption. And so when I do the caption, I usually do not do any hashtags whatsoever. I do them in the comments. And so after I post the picture, and it's already on there, I'll show you a little secret that I do. On Evernote, that's another app you can download onto your phone, I have a note called Instagram Tags. And in this, I have all these different hashtag series, like a little block of them, because Instagram lets you, it's either 25 or 30 hashtags at a time. Um, so I, if I post a picture of a healthy meal, I might do clean eating tags. If I do a workup video, I might do my fitness tags. If I do a picture about mom life, me and eating wine, I might do a mommy tag. If I do an inspirational quote or something like that, I might do my inspire tag. Um, and so these are ones you can actually search so what I'll do, I'll just go in here and copy it and then I'll go to my picture and I'll just post it like I did right there. Paste, boom, um, and that's it. And then I'll post it in the comments. I already did it so I don't want to do it again. But with the hashtags, um, you want to make sure you're using very specific targeted hashtags that are um, hashtags that your target audience would use. And so mom of toddlers, that's pretty specific. Um, there's only 3,000 posts there. Um, the Daniel plan. Let's see. I love using this one. I've actually gotten quite a few. Um, the Daniel plan has reposted me for using their hashtag quite a few times and I've gotten a lot of new followers from that. The Daniel plan is a book. It's a faith-based weight loss um, book. So it's kind of perfect <laughs> for me. Um, and so that's a hashtag that I use. So, okay, now let's talk apps. So the apps that I use the most. To build my account, first of all, I use Crowdfire, and I'll show you that in a second. To create pictures, I use Photofy. Um, I also use Fonto. To create my workout videos, I use iMovie and PicPlay Post. If I want to add a watermark under my picture, I'll use A plus signature. If I want to add text in a quote on the picture, I'll use word swag. If I want a bunch of filters on the picture more than what Instagram offers, I use Afterlight. So don't complicate your life. These are a lot. I suggest just starting out with Photofy. If you want to do videos, then get iMovie and pick play post. Um, and then I'll show you Crowdfire really quick. So Crowdfire is an app that's going to help you build your account like crazy. So you're going to set this up so it is um, connected with your Instagram account. So right here, you'll see my Instagram account is connected. And all you do, so you're here on the left, copy followers. And so here it's going to let me go. Let's go to, let's see if the Daniel plan. And so this is going to search the account, the Daniel plan. This is their account. 
and it's going to show me all of the followers. See, I've done this a lot, so I've already followed all of them. But here I could go in and follow that person. They're a follower of the Daniel plan, so there's a good chance that they would really like the content that I am posting on my page. Another one. Haha, <laughs> for who has? This is a hilarious, hilarious um, site if you have never been there. It's Mommy Humor. Um, And I've already followed a bunch of these people. So this is basically what you do. You just go in and click follow. And then pretty soon Instagram will told me, tell me that I hit my limit. I don't know why it's sometimes funny. Okay, that's enough for now. But Instagram will tell me that I hit a limit because you can only do like 100 followers or so in a day. So those are the important apps. Another um, website that you can use to build your following is called instagress.com and that's not an app but you can go to instagress.com and this is another way that you can build your following. And so here you can sign up for an account. This one you do pay for. Crowdfire, I believe, is free. This one you do pay for. Um, but you can do, I did a free um, trial. It was either a three-day or a week-long trial. And so basically what happens is you pick the hashtags of people that are um, that you're interested in, that you think are your target audience. And so like for me, again, like the Daniel plan, mom of toddlers, mom of boys, um, busy mom, that kind of thing. And so you can just use those hashtags and what it's going to do is it's going to um, like and comment on people who are using that hashtag, their pictures. Um, it's kind of controversial because it automatically does these comments like cool, like it, um, so you could have just a random picture. Some some people on our team, like, it went to, someone was, like, drinking beer and it was playing beer pong and they said, like it, and they're like, oops. Um, so it does it automatically. You don't have, um, you can't really control what it does. So it is a good way to build your account. So just a way for you to build your account, like I said, you can do that on your own. So I could go to the hashtag, people who are using the hashtag, let's say the Daniel plan. And so here I could go like this person's photo. Okay, it's a guy, so I don't really <laughs> want to attract guys. Miriam mom. Also look out and make sure that they are not um, doing another network marketing company like Miriam. This would be my ideal client. She's gorgeous. She's a daughter of Christ. So I could just go to her account and like a couple of her pictures. And I would comment on this one, you look stunning. And so because I went to her account and showed her some love, there's a really good chance that she will come to my account and start following me and start interacting with me. Ooh, those look good. Yum. So you can do that. You know, I would do, it's, you, you saw how fast I did that. So I would do that with like 20 people a day. Um, if you're just starting out, you know, the more people you do, the better, the more people you talk to in this business, the better. Um, so that's the most important thing. So, um, I think that's it. So get an Instagram account, start using it. 